Nigga, are you fucking kidding? What in the fuck is this shit? Happy two year anniversary to Warzone. Anyways, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I just want to speak on a few things because a few things in the world of Call of Duty have uh, kind of got my attention, made me think a little bit, and today happens to be the two-year anniversary of the launch of Warzone, aka as I'd like to call the true downfall of Call of Duty. While I know the fall of Call of Duty has other reasons behind it, you know, the start of the, you know, SBM, the strict SBMM, S the, 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 the strict SBMM, this whole algorithm nonsense, the way Modern Warfare 2019 was made, and everything to that nature, microtransactions, etc., bundles, whatever. Um, but shortly thereafter, Warzone came out. And like I mentioned earlier, today's the two-year anniversary of Warzone. Now, ever since then, since around that, that same time, um, that Modern Warfare came out and Warzone have come out, we have seen an epic, I mean, epic decline to traditional Call of Duty. Now, okay, I give props to Warzone. They've had their success. They've had their time. And... In that time, traditional, regular Call of Duty, multiplayer, real Call of Duty. Do I consider Warzone tr true Call of Duty? No, I don't. True Call of Duty has just gotten worse and worse, and it continues to get worse and worse. And on this day of the two-year anniversary of, of Warzone, today, I mean, it's, it's, it's been happening already, but... I'm here to talk about the fall of Call of Duty. The fall of duty of this franchise, of this game. Um, wow, so where do I even begin? Shit. Um, so recently, of late, um, we've got new content added to Cold War. We, had, we have a new assault rifle, as you can see here in this game. We were supposed to get a new map, a remake, WMD. That got delayed. Wow, how many times have this map has this map come out and it's delayed? <sighs> Vanguard. They were nominated. Nominated for an award. And I think they just won an award for some sort of visual effects category. I don't I don't, I don't know. I've never heard of this award or, or these award shows or anything. But I I I'm absolutely like Shocked, surprised, confused. How how does Vanguard, possibly the worst Call of Duty ever, probably the worst game ever, buggy, glitchy, things don't work, every time they add something new, it doesn't work properly, even in their store, when they add a bundle, the bundles don't work correctly, the, 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 the blueprints don't work correctly. And I can, and, you know, <laughs> how does this game win an award for visual effects when you have smoke and fire visual issues in multiplayer when you have weapons that 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 that, that, that don't visually look like they're supposed to sometimes when character models start looking fucking up start to start look all looking all fucked up and, and, and shit especially when they first add them to the game like i don't understand Maybe they're maybe they're winning an award for 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 campaign. I don't know. Maybe, but there's no way in hell that this game should be winning uh, awards. I mean, while Modern Warfare 2019 was prob probably the worst COD multiplayer experience ever, the game looked good. I'll give it that. It looked good. It, it was a good looking game. I don't remember that winning an award for you know for that category. That that kind of spits in the face, you know. To Modern Warfare 2019 as far as that category goes. So I don't know what the hell these people are thinking with these award shows. Anyway, also, Vanguard, again, has been so bad. There's still so many issues on the Trello board 
and issues that are not on that are not, that are not even on the Trello board that have yet to be addressed, fixed, acknowledged. While if you look on the Trello board, the same issues that are still issues have still not been fixed. That have been issues for weeks now. Every week that they come out with an update, it's just a playlist update or just some stupid bug fixes with maybe a couple of UI, you know, UI, you know, changes or glitches or like they did today, buffing the fucking snipers without doing yet, without yet having a proper and complete weapon balancing in this game since launch. I know there's some people out, out, out there that are still waiting for the proper and complete weapon balancing. Where is the proper and complete weapon balancing? Remember, I mentioned this in a video before. Remember when they said that they were going to leave the weapon balancing, to, you know, to later on? I mean, when they said later on or in the future or, or, or sometime in the near future, what, what did they mean? Did they mean halfway into the game's life cycle? Did they mean when Modern Warfare 2022 gets revealed? Did they mean when the game's life cycle is about to end? When, when, what did they mean by that? The ball turret gunner still doesn't work in free-for-all. It's still under the category of schedule fixed, a fixed schedule. When, when, when is that? When is that going to happen? They just released a playlist, a, a ship house 24-7 with no kill streaks. I mean, it don't matter. The, the, half the streaks, most of the streaks in this game are, are crap anyway. So, <laughs> you know, the dogs weren't working at one point. Now the ball turret gunners don't work at one point. You got these bombing runnings and these airstrikes that kill you and don't kill enemies. So what's the point? Yeah, might as well just play without kill streaks. Don't don't matter. Some of the worst kill streaks in Call of Duty history. But anyway, it keeps getting worse and worse. And ever since Gran Turismo 7 came out, I have not touched Call of Duty. Ever since I unlocked this Vargo, I've gotten you know my dark ether on it. You know, played a few games of snipers only on it. <laughs> pretty funny. If you didn't check out the streams or a couple of my videos or my shorts. Check that out. It was pretty funny. They could no longer do it, by the way. They took off Sniper Zoni. But um, ever since, you know, I had my fun with the Vargo. I, and, you know, that, that, that's it. I haven't touched Call of Duty ever since Gran Turismo 7 came out. And Gran Turismo 7 is a great game. It is a beautiful, well-made, complete fucking game. I've had no issues with it. I don't know if anybody else has played it that had issues with it. I haven't had any issues. I love the game. I'm going to continue playing it until, you know, I beat the whole thing or... You know, it, it becomes stale or whatever. But I have not touched Call of Duty ever since. And I don't think I will until I get tired of Gran Turismo 7. Gran Turismo 7 has saved gaming and has saved content on my channel for me. For now. Eventually, I'll, I'll probably come back to Call of Duty at one point. Maybe in the mid-season update when they add the new guns. Who knows? Um, Warzone. Back to Warzone. Warzone. Everybody hates Caldera. You know, the whole situation with, with, with console and the ADFOV and the other issues on console. It, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. And while I was watching a little bit of Tim the Tatman before I started recording this video, he said they got one shot left when it comes to Warzone 2. And I kind of agree with him. One shot left with, 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 when it comes to Warzone 2 and with, with the, the, the future uh, of multiplayer. And the whole Microsoft thing. We'll see what happens with that in the future. And as far as Warzone, we'll see what happens with that. They got one shot. If they don't do this properly. If they don't give the people what they want. And do things the right way. For the community and the player base in general. Then it's over. I think it's over. But we still have to see. Wait and see what Microsoft does with this franchise. And the direction that they want to take it. So we still have that. We still have that. We'll see. But as of right now, we are at rock bottom. We are literally at rock bottom. Cheaters and hackers are still running rampant everywhere. It's 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 sad. We already know this already. It's sad. But on the two year anniversary of Warzone, the fall of duty, I think that's one of the main reasons. And some people think that Warzone was good for Call of Duty. 
I don't know how. But let me know what you think. Let me know your comments and opinions. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.